So again, we have to discuss on certain crucial aspects of the utility of the subject. I have already told you we have identified six areas of the utility of the subject. We have to identify two, three more important areas of the utility of the subject of sociology. What would be these areas? See, only when we understand society, only when we understand social life that we could cultivate, we could develop the art of democracy. The understanding of social life would be eventually associated with the development of the art of democracy. You know very well that modern society is a democratic society and in a democratic society, unlike an autocratic society, the study of social life is very important. Please not democracy. So this is the seventh point we would say that democratic understanding, democracy, please not a better understanding of democracy can be eventually envisaged by the study of sociology. So that has a connection with another branch of knowledge that is political science. Please note, it has a close connection with another branch of knowledge that is political science. I hope it is clear. And then comes another important area, a comparative study, a comparative analysis of different societies of the world. You know very well that we are living in Indian society comparison please not a comparison a comparative analysis of different societies of the world here we are undertaking a comparison of indian society in which we live to the western society to the latin american societies to the african societies and many other social systems of the world so we will understand how this comparison is being done that is an important question we never compare the societies in general but we specifically compare the institutions, please not the institutions that exist in the society. We compare the institutions that exist in the society. We never compare the societies in general. We do compare the institutions that exist in the society. As we already stated, what are the major institutions? The Indian marriage. How the Indian marriage is different from the Western concept of marriage? We consider marriage to be a sacrament, a permanent bond. Whereas in the Western society, marriage is a breakable, an unpermanent, a temporary bond. So there itself there is different. How our family is different from the Western family. How our educational system is different from the Western, from the Latin American or from the African societies. This is an important area where sociology has a deep and a rooted concern. Then comes another area, the study and the analysis of social problems. Please note the study and the analysis of social problems. That is again an important domain of sociology which becomes the next important area that is social problems. What do you mean by social problem? This is an important question and what you understand by the term social problem. Always we used to repeat this term social problem. There is a social problem. What is a social problem? From the angle of sociology, social problems relates to all issues which affect the basic functioning of the social institution. Say for example, we hear about a large number of divorces. We hear about a large number of marital discord or disorganization of marriage. That would eventually become a social problem. We hear, we hear about drug abuse among children. We hear about children using drugs on a large scale. That again is a social problem. We hear about bank robbery. We hear about financial fraudulent activities. That again is a social problem. So whenever the normal functioning of the social institutions are affected, we would say that it would eventually lead to a social problem. So that is the next important aspect of importance or the utility of sociology that we can understand social problem. Then of course, many sociologists like Morris Ginsburg used to say that the biggest understanding of sociology is not any of these things, but it is something else. That we can understand our culture. That is the most important thing. See, to know our culture, we should learn what is society and with what all things society is constituted. Here culture involves different aspects. Many people try to define culture in different ways. And from the sociological point of view, culture involves two, three important things. One important thing is our religion. Religion is an important aspect of culture. The religion that comes in the very domain of culture. Religion is there, of course. Then our ways of life. I would say the ways of life which involve our festivals, 
which involve our art, our architecture, all these things constitute our ways of life. That is the second important area or second important aspects of culture. Then of course third important thing, third important thing include our dress code which is again an important aspect of our culture, our technology, the level where our technology stands. That again, we know very well our technology is not as superior as the, the US or the American or the other types of society, whereas it is not as inferior as the African or other society. So of course, technology comes here, which is again a material aspect of our culture. So all these things together constitute what we under, we would be discussing culture in the successive chapters, together constitute what constitutes culture and for developing a better understanding of our culture. Imagine an Indian is studying about Indian society, our social ways, our 5000 years old Vedic culture, the Hindu culture that evolved later, then other religions that came to India, all these things constitute a religious understanding of our culture. And of course, the second aspect, our ways of life, our dress and technology. This again can be better understood and we can appreciate another person's culture only by the study of sociology. If you understand our culture properly, then only we can understand the culture of other people. So that is also an important domain of sociology. So to recap, we already stated the prominent aspects of importance or utility of sociology as a subject that include the study of social interaction. I hope you remember all the major points. The study of social interaction, the study of social processes, the study of social institutions, crime or social pathology, then the study of other cultures, our culture and other culture, the understanding of other societies and above all I would say that a better understanding of society can make you a better democrat or we can say to cultivate the art of democracy also, sociology is an important area. Then of course, I would like to wind up the session by telling you an important aspect. There is often a discourse or a controversy regarding the character, the nature of sociology. Of course, many sociologists have tried to attempt to understand the true nature of the subject. Please note the nature of sociology. Many sociologists have tried to attempt the nature of sociology and to find out an actual answer to this question what exactly is the nature of sociology? Is it an art or is it a science? This is a very, very, very crucial question. Is it an art or is it a science? And how can we define the nature of a subject like sociology? One set of thinkers say it is a pure art and you cannot bring scientific method into the study of human life. And another set of sociologists say that scientific method can be inculcated in the domain of sociology and it can be considered or treated as a science. So obviously we have to deal with the origin of sociology and how Agus Comte has tried to understand or interpret sociology and how we can say that whether it is an art or a science or whether it is a combination of both. So that aspect we would be discussing in the successive session. I hope we have to make a slow, small recap. We started with the scope of the subject. We dealt with the two major schools of the subject. We dealt with the major nine or ten areas that make sociology an important subject of discussion. And we also started dealing with the nature. And now you know what you mean by the nature of a subject. Whether it is a pure science or whether it is an art. So we will be discussing these areas in the successive classes. Thank you.